<laughs> Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers, it's Luke here. Um, the Premier League's back. Finally, the Premier League's back. I always do that same joke every year for those of you who love The Rock and WWE. Um, Newcastle, um, tough start, tough, tough game. Um, a game. A team that we've got not a very good record against. Um, the battle of the worst owners, you know, Mike Ashley versus GSB, who are the worst owners. Apparently, there's going to be some protests in the stadium, some joint protests, you know, some singing about, you know, coming together in unity to get rid of these terrible owners that we both have as a club. Um, I've got a lot of respect for Newcastle as, uh, as a team. I know quite a lot about them. Actually, I work with a guy who's a Newcastle fan. You know, he, I, I've got quite an invested interest in Newcastle because, you know, we, we discuss quite a lot at work. So, um, yeah, there's a, a slight soft spot for Newcastle. I've always been a big Shearer fan as well. Um, so, yeah, a bogey team for us. Um, they did the double over us last year. Um, goals from Callum Wilson and, obviously, Joe Willock in the game at their ground. Um in terms of transfers for them, Joe Willock has just recently, it looks like it's, it's going to happen for 25 million, um, returning to them on a permanent, which is a good deal for them. He did really, really well for them. You know, in comparison, he probably, you know, was their version of Jesse Lingard. He scored a lot of goals for them, some very important goals and had a massive impact for them. Um, and I think he'll be a really big player for them going forward. Um, in terms of their injuries, um, the rumours are that St. Maxim and Callum Wilson are potentially injured for this game. I don't know whether it's a bit of smoke and mirrors. I don't want to get too excited. Um, you know, if those two guys are out, then it's a massive, massive boost for West Ham. Um, you know, St. Maxim is arguably one of the best dribblers in terms of speed, power. Um, and he really can be terrifying. He, you know, in the game at St. James's Park last year, he came on, didn't he, late in the game. And just started running at us, and um, we didn't know how to cope with him. Um, I'm a massive, massive fan of him. I, I would love him at West Ham. Can you imagine him and Antonio, you know, up front? It would be absolutely ridiculous and frightening. Um, in terms of Callum Wilson, a guy who loves scoring against West Ham, probably only bettered by someone like Lukaku, who unfortunately is coming back to the Premier League. Lukaku with Chelsea, it looks like. Um, so if Callum Wilson's out, it's a, it's a huge, huge boost for West Ham. Um, Another player obviously likes scoring against us is John Joe Shelby. Um, another one who's always a danger for some reason when he plays against us. Their defence isn't great. Um, I quite like their goalkeepers. You know, a couple of good goalkeepers they've got there. Um, you know, but this is a game, you know, we need to start strong. You know, um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Fans are obviously back at St James's Park after such a long time as well. Um, you know, they're such a huge, huge driving force to the Newcastle players. So that's going to be a big, big difference as well. Obviously, fans are back this year. Um, Steve Bruce, obviously, you know, not the best of records um, against Moyes. Um, I, I did have a look at the records. I believe David Moyes has beat Bruce 11 times, drawn four, and I think he, uh, I think he was drawn seven, lost four, so, uh, and two, obviously two of that four was last season during a double. Uh, last time we beat them up there was the three 0 win, a really fantastic strong win. I believe we did the double over them that year. Um, a performance like that would go down lovely. Um, in terms of their pre-season, it's been a bit mixed, you know, uh, they've had a couple of wins and a, f uh, a couple of losses and a couple of draws. Um, they've won their last two though, uh, I believe their last game they beat Norwich 1-0. So, you know, they're, they're finding little patches of form as of late. Uh, in terms of us, obviously our pre-season we're undefeated, which is brilliant, uh, but again, as the social media continues, we all know what happened the last time we went unbeaten in pre-season we got relegated this team's different though in my opinion um, you know this team has got leaders um, it's got they will work for each other uh, they get David Moyes David Moyes wouldn't allow anything but 100% on that pitch this is not Avran Grant who sits there like that you know, this is a guy that, you know, expects more, you know, and the, the talk that's coming out of Moyes is, you know, yes, we finished sixth last year. We need to go and do that again. We need, you know, we need to be sitting in that top 10 all year and hopefully we can do that. It's going to be a tough season though. Um, looking at us, like I say, I'm, the first 11, I'm, I'm very happy with it. You know, obviously, you know, we do need players in. We need a striker. We need... 
um, a defender and we need probably a centre midfielder but in terms of what team we can field on sa- uh, on Sunday I'm fairly happy with it you know Cresswell Ogbonna seems like he's going to be back um, Dawson or Diop and you've got Sue Fowl Rice Sochek the two of the best centre midfield partnership in the Premier League Ben Rama looks like he's absolutely raring to go and really going to I think he's going to be a massive massive player for us this season for now he's getting better and better decision making consistency um Really, really top top player we've got there in four nails. Um, and then you've got Bowen. Um, if Bowen starts, good player, dynamic, attacking, and obviously Antonio as well will be a nuisance for any defence um, when he's fit and firing. Um, will we see Milenkovic? Who knows? You know, it's probably it's one of the longest longest deals that's been nearly finished for ages. You know, it keeps going from his medicals Monday, which obviously it wasn't. Uh, then it goes to we're signing him then it goes we're backing for Zuma uh, twists and tw- turns in this transfer um, if he is to sign before Friday there's a chance that he may go come in be great to see old Bonner and Milenkovic together um, but it's not like Moyes to throw in a new transfer so I doubt we'll see him starting at least if, if he was to sign before Friday um, I hope it does happen but with West Ham, as I keep saying, guys, every single video, until I see him on the website with the shirt, I don't believe anything out there. I really don't. There's too many twists and turns at the moment. Um, if we do win, it'll be a great start. Um, our fixtures are fairly favourable. You know, there's a couple of dodgy ones in there. But at no point in the season does it look like we've got a patch of like three or four games. You know, like usually you have a month where it's Tottenham, Chelsea, Arsenal, City. It's not really a patch of that this season, which is something else I spotted when the fixtures did come out. Um, Newcastle are a team we should be beating as well, you know, if we, if we want to carry on the same sort of aspirations of what we had last season. No disrespect to them, but they've not really, you know, built on their team. Um, they've got a manager that's not really liked, and hopefully, like I say, if Callum Wilson and, and St. Maxim are out, you know, it's a massive chance for us to go up there and win. Um like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting big things from Ben Rama. If I was a betting man, I'm, I'd fancy Ben Rama to get a goal the weekend. I really do. I think he's going to give their defence an absolute nightmare. I do think Antonio will break Paolo's record very, very soon as well within the within the first sort of three to four games. I think the uh, Canio's record will fall. Um, and big credit to Antonio if, if he does do that. Um, it'll be good to see where we are as well. You know, we've had some really tough. Friendlies, you know, some real good competitive friendlies. Uh, the Celtic game, obviously, early doors in that game, it was quite competitive, really. And then, obviously, we went on and showed our class to win 6-2. The Brentford game was a really tough, competitive, full, sort of played like a Premier League game. It wasn't like a friendly. And then the Atlanta game, you know, to go and beat a Champions League team, you know, should put us in good stead and good confidence. Um, I believe... You know, in this farewell tour of Declan Rice, uh, you know, one more year probably of him, I think you're just going to be seeing nine out of tens every single week with Declan Rice. I think he's just going to constantly just keep showing how good he is and he'll just get better and better this season. And we're going to have, with him and Sochek, if those two stay fit, we've got a chance, you know, of beating most teams, I believe, because just Rice is that good. Rice is that good. He He's world class in midfield and. Um, he, he can go on and show that he really, really can. Um, yeah, not much else, guys, in terms of the uh, Newcastle game. Like I say, in terms just the bogey team, got to go and do that bogey, though. You know, we've got to try and turn that bogey into a birdie. You know, let's get three points on the board early. Um, it takes that pressure away if you get that win as well. You know, the longer it goes on without getting a win, you know, you can your season can easily go one way. That those first ten games are quite vital. Um, and this is a game we've got to win and, and if we do win it like I say it puts us in massive good stead um, and also you know when you're signing players if you're winning games it looks more attractive as a club like oh yeah West Ham have gone and won the weekend um, but as always with me my prediction I'm going to predict 1-1 I think um, I think Willock if he's there will score for them and I think Antonio will score for us and I think it will be 1-1 and um, not too disappointed I'll be with that. Like I say, in terms of they are a bogey team, but 
I would like us to win. I'd like us to win. We'll see, guys. We'll see what happens. Let me know your score predictions. Let me know if there's anything I've missed in the game. Uh, who do you think? Will Ariola start? Will Fabianski start? Uh, will Antonio break Di Canio's record this weekend? Until next time, guys. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Come on, you irons. Keep believing. Let's go.